welcome to another new video today we're going to be doing what's on my phone or what's in my phone which was requested by one of the viewers or commenters brandon r on the previous samsung s20 plus unboxing video so this is my phone samsung s20 plus bts edition which was unboxed previously I didn't change the cover, I only changed the home screen and the lock screen into this Taehyung picture which I got from Pinterest. So this is how my home screen looked like. It is the default, I didn't change any of it. It's how the apps were already downloaded when I first bought it and so I just kept it that way. So here's there's a Google folder which were already set on default and then there are apps like Gmail and then Maps and YouTube and also Play Music also have the calendar settings and in gallery and play store and i kept all these with the purple theme which was already downloaded by the bts edition samsung s20 phone i didn't put it on default samsung because i liked the way the icons look Oh, and I, I also got this like question about how I change, is it possible to change it back to default? Yes, it's possible. Just search for Samsung themes and then click on these three bar things and go to my stuff. And then you can change it back into default. But I really like the purple theme already, which is the BTS purple edition. So I'm keeping it that way. Hope that answers that question. And do you see how these widgets, they are a heart icon. That is so cute. I, I hope you guys can see that. Okay, now, so let's move on to the application place. So just swipe up to do so. And so here are all the default stuff that is downloaded already. So we have phone, contacts, internet, messages, settings, calculator, calendar, camera, clock, Samsung Notes, My Files, Galaxy Store, Gallery, Google, Play Store, and Play Music. So it's basically just the default stuff that was already downloaded and it didn't move anything. And for the second, we have also the default stuff, which I didn't move anything. It looks like messy right now, which I might like sort out later because I don't like how it looks. But yeah, here are all the default stuff. So we have like BTS XR snapshot. Oh, I also didn't show that. So I'm gonna show that here because last time when I filmed it, it wasn't released yet. So, oh, we have to update. So I'm gonna update this. So while it's gonna go on updating, I think we should go and continue with what other apps that I have. So I'm going to just wait this out. Okay, so there are other things as well like Galaxy Wearable, and then Live, Transcribe, Office, Photos, Play Movies, Samsung Global, Samsung Health, Samsung Member, Samsung Pay, S2 Secure, Smart Tutor, Smart Things, Spotify, Play Games, Voice Recorder, and a true Google Drive. So Galaxy Wearable is basically to pair with the buds, I think, but I didn't buy it, so I'm not going to show you because I can't show you. Okay, so this is how the XR snapshot looks like. At the moment, it only unlocks certain members and not all members are unlocked yet. As you can see, only on up to RM, Jin, and Yoongi, but all the other members are still coming soon. So it's basically a photo taking app. So this is how it looks. So Namjoon would just like come out here like this and then you can just move him around, zoom him or rotate him and take a picture with him or something like that. It's just basically like a picture taking app. So here are my actual applications that I downloaded myself. I sorted them out into each different separate folders. So I have folders like editing, 
and in social, school, life, games, and languages. So I like to keep them organized in these folders. And if you can tell, I like to color coordinate them. And most apps don't really have the same colors, so I try my best to color coordinate them. In my first folder editing, I want to show you Fonto. Fonto is a very great text, adding text to like images, like for thumbnails and all that, which I often use in my thumbnails. Here is an example, but I might get into it more in the next video or like in another video where I explain how I edit, if you guys are interested. So my second app is Imaging Edge Mobile, which is to connect or to transfer photos and videos from my camera to my phone. But it is very like default, so I don't have to show you that because it's nothing interesting. So next is InShot, which is a very simple video, photo, and collage editing app. But mostly I use it for uh, video editing because it doesn't really have those watermarks or very small ones and it's very simple just to add music most of it for me but you can also add text and effects and all that and next is for kind master kind master is also a very great editing a video editing app but it has a big watermark unless you buy the membership or something like that and next I have Nishi Nishi is a collage maker app which is like makes these beautiful templates of collages there's already templates here and they're just very beautiful or you can create them yourself and I also have line camera which is very very useful for me so line camera enables you to actually add these filters and I use it mostly for my Instagram journal account which you can find in the link in the description and I just use these like filters and you can actually change it with like saturation, contrast and also brightness and there are also many features like vignet, sharpen, contrast, brighten, exposure and so many other more and I love this app because of its like def default or like it's set up filters and it's not you don't have to pay for a certain filter or something like that so I really love line camera next is snow which is a selfie app it has so many filters also and mostly is known because of its stickers so there's so many pretty stickers here and i use it for also video editing which you can add like these effects for video just like swipe to the video side instead of photo taking and download these filters and you can make these like short aesthetic videos for your stories or tiktok or whatever it's basically like a filter app also, not only for selfies. And then I also use Polar, which is also another picture editing app. But it is much more complicated than any of the other apps that I have. Because it has these like more complicated features, which also allows like, for example, you can actually choose a certain color off the picture and then you can add like the brightness or exposure in it however it is like more on a complicated side so i wouldn't recommend it for people who are beginners or who would just like to edit or add filters very easily but of course feel free to actually explore it if you're interested in exploring like the editing and all of that so my next app is called Fontify. It is for Instagram and it actually provides these like fonts for your Instagram bio or description. So I recommend it for those who actually like decorative text. And next is Coffee, which is basically another editing soft photo editing app. And it allows you to actually, there is like certain like um, filters that I also like here, which is why I use the app. And lastly on the folder is PixArt. I definitely recommend this to anyone who prefers like free editing. And it allows you to actually add stickers and alt text and everything. So it's basically like everything in one. So I definitely recommend that. Next in my folder is social. So for social, I have all these social medias and just like social stuff. 
So first in the folder is YouTube Studio, which is very important for looking at my analytics for my YouTube channel. And then second on the folder is Pinterest. I love Pinterest. It's basically like HD picture aesthetic K-pop idol art heaven. <laughs> it gives you such amazing pictures and HD pictures and you can save them very easily to folders which is very good for mood boards or inspiration. And I have YouTube and Snapchat, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, VLive and from Snapchat to Twitter I rarely use them. But VLife, I use it mostly on computers, but I use it for like notifications, which is very important when it comes to standing K-pop groups. <laughs> and I have Weavers. Weavers is basically um, a social platform, but only for big hit entertainment idols like BTS, Seventeen, G Friend, TXD. And then we have WhatsApp, Line, Instagram, Preview. Preview is for looking at like to plan out your Instagram feed for like aestheticness, some kind of thing. <laughs> and then we have TikTok and then Netflix and then Anneli, which is basically to look at analytics for Instagram. And then I also have Feed Preview which is basically um, something that I'd use to replace my preview for now because preview has like these complicated login stuff. So I'm using feed preview for now. And then I also have analytics. I mean, insights also to see analytics of Instagram. And then next folder I have school, which is for private because it is like the apps that are made by my school. And so I'm gonna keep it private. And then I have Life, which is basically I grab, Star Hut, prepaid, yes style. So I'm not going to go into details about them because they're basically like about how I do in life and it's kind of boring. But it's mostly just because like for like my membership or how I go on the bus or like maps or MRT stations or online shopping area. And next on the folder is games. So I have these games like BTS World, Free Fire, Mobile Legends, Idol Producer, Hello BT21, Among Us, and Family Style. And two of these games like Free Fire and Mobile Legends, I use it only to play with my friends. I mean, most of my games is just to play with my friends. And last on my folder is language. So I love learning new languages and currently I can speak five languages, but I'm fluent I would say I'm fluent on four, but I'm still learning in Korean, so I'm still polishing on how to spell in writing and how to read faster, like Hangul. But I can understand and like listen and say, but I'm definitely lacking some like hard vocabularies. And I also would like to learn complicated Chinese letterings. Like I can say and stuff, but there are definitely some vocabs that I still can't know yet so of course languages is such a big thing so it's like endless even english vocabularies i'm not accomplished every english vocabularies in the world so it's definitely good to just learn so here are the apps that i'd recommend for people who want to learn korean or chinese or asian languages Okay guys, so that is it for what's on my phone or what's in my phone for Samsung S20 BTS edition. This video was requested by Brandon R on YouTube. So thank you Brandon R for requesting and I hope this was up to your standards or I hope this was fulfilling to your request. And do comment down below if you have any comments kind of videos that you would like me to do next or what kind of videos I should do next in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!